Hi, this is Amal again from sltrust.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on your website through the IIS 7 Web Services Manager. So let's get started. So this is the website hosted on our server that we're looking to secure. As you can see our connection to the site is not yet secure and we are going to make sure it is. So, fire up your server and navigate to the Internet Information Services Manager. So the first thing that we're going to do is generate a certificate sign-in request for our website. Now basically, a certificate sign-in request or a CSR is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority containing all necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. Now to generate a CSR, what we're going to do is head over to the server homepage and then under IIS you'll find an option called server certificates. Click on that and click on the create certificate button on the top right. Type in your domain name and the common name, the name of your organization, the organizational units such as IT, your city and your state or province. Along with the two letter abbreviation for your country or you can select it from the drop down menu and click on next. We are going to be using the Microsoft RSA cryptographic provider and let's set, let's set the bit length to 2048. Click on next and let's output our CSR to the desktop. And let's call it server.csr. Click on open and click on finish. You should have now successfully generated your certificate sign in request. We close this up and let's find our CSR. It's right here. Open it with Notepad and you can now successfully see your certificate sign-in request. You can copy this from the very start to the very end and proceed to purchase and configure your SSL certificate. Okay, so I'm here at the SSL Trust homepage and I'm going to move on to purchase and configure my SSL certificate. So choose your preferred SSL certificate from your favorite brand. Click on it. Scroll down. For this video, we're going to be going with the cheapest one, the Commodore Sectico Positive SSL. Scroll down again, choose your the duration of your certificate, click on Buy SSL. Scroll down, click on Checkout, fill in your billing details and choose your preferred method of payment and click on Complete Order. I'm sure you'll be, you'll easily find SSL certificates suited for all the needs. So once you're done with that, you can head over to the SSL Trust dashboard, click on your SSL certificate and start certificate configuration. Or you can provide this link to the appropriate person doing this for you. So now we are going to paste in our CSR, so scroll down. Once you're done with that, scroll down and click on Verify CSR. So if your details pop up just about right, then we're good to go. Select your server type. Click on Next Step. Fill in your admin details. Your email address. And if you have a technical contact doing this for you, 
uh, make sure to enter the appropriate details here or otherwise if you're the admin and you're doing this yourself use admin details and click on next step so now comes the important part of the process or domain control validation now you need to prove to the certificate authority which in this case is Sectigo that you have complete access to your domain name and you're the owner of it so there are three methods for validation the first one is the email method so you should have one of these five email addresses admin at the rate your domain name .com. you'll be sent once you click on submit configuration you'll be sent an email with a link which when you click on should validate your domain name and should uh, help you get your certificate the second method is the HTTP file method so basically you'll need to create these directories and create a text file with this name a text file and paste in these contents in that and wait for your server to propagate these details throughout the internet when you can check click on check file here and the third method that we're going to use is the CNM record validation method so what we're going to do is copy this go to your DNS provider or your DNS settings scroll down and add a record set the interface might be different depending on your service provider so paste your CNAME record here and the alias is gonna be this value here so copy it and oh it's gonna be CNAME record sorry and the alias is gonna be this address so paste it here and click on OK so once you're done with that head back to your configuration and you can click on the check DNS record button here click on search and your DNS record should propagate in a few minutes up to an hour depending on your DNS propagation speed or your hosting the quality of your hosting provider and you can submit your configuration for now as you can see our configuration was a success this is our order number and our status is that we're awaiting validation you can click here to access the validation manager and as you can see our record has successfully propagated and we've been issued with our certificate in case your DNS records do not propagate this quick you can keep coming back here to the DNS checker website or you can come back here open this dialog box choose your preferred method of domain control validation and click on submit again this should refresh the record of your approval on the server end via at Sectigo so or if you're lost you can head back to the dashboard click click on your certificate and there'll be a button here where you can access the validation manager and all in all this is it so once you're done with that let's close this up and you can collect or download your certificate now click on this button and we're gonna download the format is gonna be a single PEM file containing all the certificates because this or a .cr extension these are the two extensions accepted by the IS web server so click on download certificate let's save it on the desktop set to be the rest of guides and click on save okay 
So once you have downloaded your SSL certificate, we can now move on to uploading it on our IS web server and installing it on our website. So what we're going to do now is head over to server certificates under IS on the server homepage. Double click on that and click on complete certificate request button on the top right. Once you do that, choose the place or the output directory you've saved your certificate in. We've saved it in our parent directory and change the extension as required. Select your certificate and click on open. Assign it a friendly name and click on OK. Once you're done with that, we can now move on to add an HTTPS binding on our website. So go to the bindings button on the top right and click on add. Add an HTTPS binding. Select your SSL certificate and click on OK. One more setting that we need to change is enable SSL. So go to SSL settings under IIS. Make sure you check require SSL. Ignore client certificates and click on this apply button on the top right. You can also restart your IIS web server now for all the settings to take effect. Okay, so now to check our installation, we're going to type in our domain name with an HTTPS colon double slash your domain name dot com. Click on enter. And as you can see, our site is showing up and our connection to the site is now secure. We've successfully installed an SSL certificate on our IIS web server. You can always find the written guide in the very description of this video and some further configuration commands that you can implement to get the best SSL settings for your SSL certificate. If you were easily able to install the certificate on your website, please like this video. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below and thanks for watching.